Hi everyone, how are you? Today we're going to make quick dinner rolls. Are you in a hurry, you want some dinner rolls? Well, the good thing about these is you do have to let them rise, but you make this overnight, and that way you only need about a half an hour, 45 minutes, and you got yourself some nice, delicious dinner rolls. So let's put it all together. Okay, we've got our bowl out, and all our stuff's going in there. First off, let's get our yeast going. That's a cup of warm water. And to that we need two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. And we're just going to stir it around. There. That's all you got to do. Next up is two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Then we throw our flour in. Oh, but we're not done. We need some potato flakes. So I got a box of potato flakes. And then goes a quarter cup of the flakes. Ah, interesting. We're going to mix all that together right now. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I put in more of the flour. And kind of start combining it all together. Uh, oops. Hang on. We got to put one egg in. And of course, I thought this was a little strange, but three quarter teaspoon of onion powder. Interesting. But anyway, then we mix her all together. Try and get ourselves a nice dough ball. Little by little by little by little. And then you want to mold it into a ball. Now, the downside is I didn't throw any oil in the bottom of the bowl. So it did get a little sticky. But we're going to cover it up with some plastic wrap and put it in the fridge overnight. The other option is to put it on the board, divvy it up into 12 pieces, and let it rise for half an hour before you put it in the oven. Sounds simple enough. So in goes the dough into the fridge overnight. When it comes out, you can see we let it sit for room temperature 30 to 45 minutes or so. I let it sit for an hour-ish. And you can see how it's risen from what it started out at. We'll put this aside. We'll get our muffin tins out because that's what we're going to use. This is going to make 12 biscuits. We'll give our tins a little spray so they don't stick too bad. If you want to flour them up, you can do that too. I just chose not to. I put a little flour on the dough just because, if you can see in the bowl, it's starting to stick a bit. And, of course, the easiest way to get it out of the bowl, because, of course, we got to get the dough out of the bowl now, is a little bit of flour. And we're just going to rip off a piece. I'm kind of guessing at how big I need the balls to be. I'm not even rolling them into a ball, to be quite honest. I'm just grabbing a hunk of dough. They're going to be a little rough around the edges, but they're still going to work out, I think. And we'll keep ripping out hunks of dough until we fill that muffin tin up. There is our 12 pieces of dough. That's going to go in the oven now. 400 degrees, about 12 minutes ish keep an eye on them till they're nice and brown like that i let them cool down so now we're just going to carefully get them all out of the muffin tin and you can see here there's a little bit of flour hither and thither but it's not bad and they come out of the tray nicely nice and golden brown they're a little dense but still yummy and these are still warm too. Oh yeah. But it's a good idea for when you're busy doing other stuff and you just want to make some biscuits. Into a nice wicker basket they go. Looks good to me. There's our quick dinner rolls. Something definitely to try for dinner one night. Hey. Another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below, one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. 
and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.